YouTube. Um, welcome back to my channel. My name's Lisa. Um, it's been a few weeks. I've been away, but I'm back. I've got some packages that kind of came in that I want to kind of unwrap and share with you. Um, as you can see, I'm going to start with the first one, and I'm sorry for the angle. Um, I'm a little out of sorts because um, I don't have my, my tripod broke right before I left on my trip so I'm without a tripod and I'm shooting for the very first time with my iPad um, but I ordered a Twisby as you can see here um, I'm gonna go ahead and undo this one um, I got this one from Van Ness Pens this is a very awkward angle on the iPad so I really do apologize but I think I'm going to need to cut that open with my craft knife here on one end yes we've got tape slivers hold on just a second and I'm gonna have to get a new tripod it looks like unfortunately um, but I got back and I had these packages and I was so excited that I'm, I really want to write with this one so I really wanted to open this up and share it with you it's an eco um, I got the Twisby eco and what kind did I get? I got the Eco. And there you see the wrench and the, um, the silicone grease. And I got the Twisby Eco with the rose gold. Absolutely gorgeous looking pen. Really looking forward to doing, um, inking this up and going. Okay, so this is the Eco um, in rose gold. Beautiful. I'm going to have to clean this. Um, I did get this one, let's see here, I think I got this one in a fine point nib. This is a piston filler, like all of them are. Beautiful pen. And this is looking like a, um, can I focus? It's looking like a fine point. I think I got this in a fine. I don't think I bought that in something that was other than a fine. If I've got any details on here. Yep, I bought it in a fine point. So I'm going to clean this out, and I'll probably do a more in-depth review of that, but that was one of the items that I bought. And I, like I said, bought these from Van Ness Pens. So I also bought from Van Ness Pens, and I'm going to do a part two to this video because I've got to find my other bigger tripod probably that I use for a different camera and show these to you as well. So I bought four inks. Um, first one I got is Ferris Will uh, Mirror of the Moraine uh, or Marine. And then I got another Ferris Will, Ferris Will, um, this one is Royal Rhubarb. And I've never used um, Ferris Wheel ink. I've seen them, but I've just never used them. And I just kind of wanted to get away from using, of course, my Diamine Golden Honey, which looks like it's a beautiful orange yellow. And I got two of those. So I got two of those for, um, one's for me and one's for um, a gift ideal for someone. Additionally, I also did a quick purchase. Let me just put these to the side. Sorry about this, guys. I normally have a completely set, different setup, but like I said, my tripod broke before I left, so I'm shooting in a brand new format. I also um, placed the order while I was out from, oops, this is gonna be tough, from Jet Pens. Um, and that came while I was gone as well. And they have a little glass, I think this is the glass pencil rest. So it's just a clear, um, there we go, glass pen wrap. So you can rest, as you can see, it's just a piece of plastic or glass that you can rest your um, fountain pen on. And I don't think, I'm going to have to pull the staples out on this but that's what that looks like and it sits flat like this and you basically rest your fountain pen on it in this area right here all right other 
items that I purchased from Jet Pins. I've been wanting one of these for a while and it's an oblique um, nib holder. So let's just look at it like this. So it's it goes like that. Um, so you can do straight or oblique and I've got some nibs that I have bought previously that I was using for Inktober. So I just got one of these because I really wanted to get one of these. I like the fact that it's oblique. Let's see if I can get this open. Which is why I got the rest. So it looks like this. Really pretty, nice neutral color. And I'll put a nib in there and it looks like it can only hold one of my nibs. I don't think it can hold two different nib size. It looks like it's just that one. So I'll play around with that one and let you know how much I like that. And that will then hold like that. That's why I got the glass rust. So that's how that works. Additionally, I wanted to get this earlier and they were all sold out so I had to wait. But I decided to get a five year diary. Um, from Midori. I know Hobonichi is the more popular brand, but um, after traveling and having to spend time away from home for several weeks, I really like the idea of, I tried to do something utilizing the Midori like skinny um, journals, and I just didn't like it because I came back and I had to paste it in my other regular journal, but I really like the idea of kind of holding on to everything in one coherent spot. The nice thing about it is the packaging also houses the journal itself so that when I'm done, it'll sit on the shelf like that. And given what's been happening, um, just in the last year alone, 2020 into this year, I kind of feel like we're living in a historical period on the planet in general with COVID being um, everywhere. I kind of want to document the next five years of my life. I think it'll be interesting to look back to see what's going on um, five years from now um, in the world and in my life. So I bought one of those. And sorry for my background. All right. And lastly, but not least, I bought another sailor pen, fountain pen. Um, I do have an affiliate link on Amazon, um, so I would appreciate it if you guys like this. I bought this fountain pen off of Amazon. I was browsing um, on their website, and I was looking at other people review. I have one sailor pen, that's it. And um, I really like their pens a lot, but they do tend to be kind of on the pricey side. And Sometimes you can catch really good deals on Amazon, and I saw this pen for under $100 US on Amazon, and with a gold nib, I couldn't resist. <laughs> um, so I went ahead and I purchased it. So I will be sticking the link for it. Um, I will be sticking the link for it below. This one is a zoom lit, um, a zoom nib, 14 karat gold zoom nib. I'm like, it's amazing that I can get that for that kind of money. So, you know, when you see, if you're able to do it, I say go for it. I like um, experimenting with different kinds of nibs and this will give me a chance to have, whoops, a different kind of nib. I'm going to zoom that out. So that's what it looks like. All the accoutrements of the warranty, etc. come out of the box. This is looking very authentic. It's not looking like it's a, a knockoff that was sold on Amazon. Um, like I said, I was able to get this for a little over $100 with tax and shipping US. But the actual retail price of this pen was like under $100. Amazing. Couldn't resist. And I was fortunate enough to be able to do so and buy one. So they gave me two proprietary Sailor cartridges. And this is the packaging, the pin. There's nothing underneath the box. 
and I will stick the spare cartridges there, put the housing there, back on there, and this is the, this is the pin, oh my gosh, it's really pretty, hold on just a second, I'm gonna try to cut it through and show it to you. I've never owned a sailor with a zoom. Oops, please be careful. Oops, it looks like it caught a zoom nib. Just a second, let me just do that like that. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's small. Um, I have another sailor and it's looking like it's a little bit bigger than that. Of course, it posts. So what I'll do is I will flush this pin out along with the Eco. Just let's give you a comparison. So the Eco with it capped is much the same size as the Zoom, the Sailor, um, posted. Oops, now Lisa, don't, uh, don't damage your pins. Let's compare them. Okay, even though it posts, it's not the best of fits, I will say. So, just comparison. Of course, the Eco is a lot longer than the Sailor. But I'm going to flush these both and ink them up in another video in part two. And probably get my uh, camera out to do a different posting with a better angle than my iPad. But this is just a quick unboxing and I just wanted to show you... Um, things that I was able to get while I was away um, and that came back while the time I was back. So I'm sorry for the discombobulation. I'm a little off kilter just getting back, but hopefully you liked this video. If you have any comments, anybody who else has a Sailor Zoom nib, tell me what your experience is with it. Anybody who has the Midori five-year um, journal that was able to start January 1st and has had some time to write in it, let me know how you like the paper and especially if you've written with it with fountain pen ink. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate the support. Um, I will put all the links below. And once again, have a great day. Take care. Bye.